so fresh, so clean. Just dry shampoo really do the job of cleaning your hair. And which is best, high end or drugstore? You know how we do, it's Mikey G6. This is my 14th video. I bet your comments and DMs on my Instagram follow me at Mikey G6. And the things you seem to like to hear me talk about are hair, getting ready videos, movie reviews, and the gay scene in LA. So I'll try to keep making content for you in that realm and with other topics too. For example, I have some thoughts about all gay hotels in Europe, but that's another video. So talking about getting ready, traveling, I want to talk about dry shampoo. As you know, I live in Hollywood, California, where it's dry, and I usually wash my hair twice a week, which is every third day. But what do I do for the in-between days and when I don't wash my hair? I do dry shampoo. In this video, we're going to talk about dry shampoo. What it does, compare these two, Stasha Huang, which is from Sephora, or Batiste, which you can get at any drugstore. Like my name, G6, I'm going to divide this video into six points. And be sure to follow and DM me on Instagram, MikeyG6. And subscribe to this YouTube channel and like and comment on this video. Number one, what is dry shampoo? Dry shampoo is supposed to clean and refresh the hair, particularly the scalp. And it's supposed to work in between hair washing. I have to say, I think the name shampoo is a bit misleading because you can shampoo your hair once, twice, whatever you want, but dry shampoo, in my opinion, can only be used once or in between hair washing days. So you will need to wash your hair eventually. Dry shampoo is basically baby powder and air, so it absorbs the oil. But remember, you're putting the product in your hair, so you need to wash it out eventually, unlike shampoo, which you wash out immediately. Number two, how do you use dry shampoo? In this case, more is more. And you have to really get into the scalp. What I do, I turn my head upside down and I get the nozzle into the roots and spray. Move around, spray. Move around, spray. You want to move around because you want to get in all different areas of the scalp. And you, wanna, and you don't want to concentrate only one area. Also, more is more. You have to really spray a lot to notice a difference. But if you do it correctly and the correct amount is all over, you should notice you have less oily, greasy feeling in your hair. Number three, how does your hair look after? Some people swear that dry shampoo adds volume to their hair, and it does but you need to work with it. After I apply it, I run my fingers through and blow it dry. Medium heat. The lowest setting. And I go in the direction I want my hair to go. Because the dry shampoo acts as a pre-styler. But if you want your hair to last all day in this look, You'll need to use hairspray because dry shampoo has no hold. So it'll fall or you'll get flyaways or both. So you need the hairspray to hold it in place. Number four, let's talk about these two products. The Sashahuan is 6.8 ounces and costs $35 at Sephora. The Batiste shampoo is 6.7 ounces so it's the same size and it's $5 at Target. For those of you outside of the US, Target is a drugstore and Sephora is a high-end cosmetic store. So both are the same size, but Batiste is $5 and Sasha Juan is $35. So it's seven times the price difference. It's number five, scent. I will say the scent of the Sasha Juan is better. It's a cooler undertone and feels like an ocean breeze. Whereas the Batiste smells good and clean. Kind of like a dryer sheet. But it doesn't smell twice as good. I'm going to spray one side of my hair with one 
and one side of my hair with the other to see if you can notice a difference. Remember to put hairspray after using the blow dryer. Number six, usage. One of the things that's supposed to make the Sasha Juan special is that it's made for dark hair. I've tried other dry shampoos, neither of these. And you can end with flakes or a powder look, which is called white cast. And the Sasha Juan ostensibly doesn't have that. But I have to say, if you blow dry and you use the correct amount, the Batiste works fine. Now let's see how the spray and the other do are basically the same. So we talked about what dry shampoo is, and I think everyone needs it. It's good to use after the gym, after you get off a long flight, on a day where you don't wash your hair, and it's not good to wash your hair daily because you can strip your scalp and take up too much natural oil that your hair produces. So dry shampoo is a must that everyone needs to have. And we talked about, about how to use it and how often. So the big question, which is the best? I'm going to go with Batiste. You save $30 and it lives the same. And you can see no difference other than the scent. I don't notice anything less in the performance of the product, although note, you do need hairspray to finish your style and make it hold. And that's regardless of which product you use. But if you lack the value, like I do, I try the Batrice Dry Shampoo. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you stay fresh and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share. You can interact with me on this video and let me know what you want me to talk about and follow me on Instagram, MikeyG6.